this is Anita of Explore Pilates, and sometimes uh, we don't have time to get into our exercise clothes, but we want to get a little bit of movement in. So, I'm going to show you a no sweat workout that um, brings mobility and can help us start the day and stay in shape. Alright, so let's get working. This is an exercise, this is a workout that you can do um, with a chair, with the support of a chair. Without the support of a chair, just standing on your own. And at the very end, we will need a piece of furniture or a countertop. So um, my counter is such a mess that I thought this would be easier to clean off. All right, so let's start. We're going to just swing the leg forward and back. And the arm goes back in the opposite direction. And about 10 of these. So four, three, two, and last one. I'm bring everything to a standstill. Go to the other side. I'm going to even myself out by standing on, against the furniture. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And come to a standstill. I'm not sure that those numbers were even, but there you have it. Okay, so bring your heels together, toes apart, and just give yourself some gentle knee bends, making sure your tailbone is lengthening down to the floor, and we're not sticking out, and we're not tucking either. So nice, long, long spine, and gentle knee bends. Three, two, it's not really bar, this is footwork, and here's your last one. Okay, we need to stretch our hamstrings, so bring one leg forward, and... Now you get to stick up your tailbone. <laughs> Pull your belly up as you do that. And then come forward. Other foot comes forward. Pull the toes up. And you can keep the same hand or you can switch. So if you have that hand on the, on the thigh or if you prefer, hand on the other thigh. Key is when you have the hand on the thigh that you're not bearing down on. Let's do one more. And actually, rather than just pulling the toes back, we want to make sure that we're flexing at the ankle. And then go. All right, so I'm going to try to do this with my hands on my hips. Really stand on that foot. Now I'm your spine to come on up. Your knee will take it. All right, strong flex. Send the tailbone back. Keep flexing that ankle. It's going to determine the quality of your stretch. And then come on up. All right, good. Next is going to be the, um, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> All right, so uh, it might be good if I turn the chair a little bit sideways, make sure I don't kick anything. And you're going to send one leg back and one arm forward. Try not to twist your hips, but rather keep them square to the floor and reach. Lengthen the leg out and then come back. And we'll do that three more times. And reach. Your hand that's on the chair is just lightly on there, just for balance. Don't push down on it. Two more. Reach. Lengthen outwards. And the last one. I didn't say it was no sweat, you know, but it's all relative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and come around. Maybe because I've already done a couple workouts. All right. I'm not a workout freak, but there you have it. And then make sure you're switching arm and leg. And I'm going to do it from the front, if you can have a look. Send that leg back, try not to go into a twist, and arm comes straight forward. And again, don't pop into that hip, but really lift up. And I say that as if, I, as if I've said it before, maybe if you look at another video, you will hear me say the same thing. So stack, lift, reach, lengthen, pull the belly up, and out. I think I have one more. Use your hip to really keep you parallel to the floor. All right, and march it up. High knees. Okay, let's get the chair out of the way for a second. And I just really like this exercise because it prepares us for single leg stretch on the floor. We're not going to get into that right now, though. We're going to do some really slow motion A exchanges. So we're going to go here and step back. 
Okay, awesome. Like just a gentle bend in that front knee. And then you're going to lift up and back. Do that. You can do this anywhere from five to eight, even up to ten times. All right, so let's, that's three. There's four. There's five. Now, if you want to get a little bit of heat for the next three, really stand in that back leg into the floor. Hold your stomach in, right? And then when you come up, you're going to use your lower abs. Oops, stay balanced. And then really drive that leg back from your glutes. Okay, so abs and glutes. Oops, try to stay balanced. And abs and glutes. Ooh. And abs and glutes and lengthen through the crown of the head and then back. All right, let's switch to the other side. So I like to just do the first couple nice and easy. Four, three, two, last one. And now here, really stand into the floor. Everything is lengthening. You're going to use your abs to bring that leg up. Drive back with the glutes. Two, drive back with the glutes. Oh, all of a sudden I got a pearl of sweat here. <laughs> as long as it's a pearl, because I'm all dressed up. All right, and down there. Okay, last one I said. This is why we have a piece of furniture. Push the chair out of the way so I have room. Hands against here. Bring yourself into a plank. Now, I know you've got this, but try not to go into, right? So. You want to be in a straight plank and not dip between your shoulders. And also don't let the hips come forward. I like this incline plank because there's something about being parallel to the floor that's super challenging for us, us women, especially, and our hips tend to kind of drop. So this really um, gets us into a good alignment. Press the toes into the floor and you're standing on your hands, okay? No tension in your neck. And as you bend, you keep standing on your toes. Make sure you're not going to slide away. And then lift up. Keep all that nice alignment. And exhale. And inhale. And you could do as many of these as you like. If you have a round countertop, it's a little bit kinder than a sharp piece of furniture. I'm going to scooch forward a bit. I'm sliding out. So exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. I feel like doing two more. You can do as many as you want. And last one. And exhale, exhale. And then keeping the hands here, reach back. Come forward. All right. And that's the supposedly, theoretically, no sweat workout. As you can see, I got a little bit of a shine going. So, hope you have a great day and hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get notifications every time I post a new video. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.